Hey everyone, this is Just For Fun giving you another Funko Pop video review. For today, we have number 1117 from Pop Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame, Thor. And of course, Chalice Collectibles Exclusive and Limited Blue Chase Edition. Now let's take a closer look at the packaging. For the top part, from left to right, we have Fungo, Pop, Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame, and number 1117. For the bottom part, we have the new Funko Art of Thor, the label Thor, the Limited Glow Chase Edition, and Chalice Collectibles Exclusive Sticker. And for the top part, we have Marvel, Pop, and the Funko logo. We can also see half of Thor's Funko head with the blue eyes. For the left side, we have Marvel and Pop logo at the top, Thor's Funko Art, the label Thor and number 1117. Also, please note that Funko used the non glow chase Funko Art variant. And for the right side, it's kind of like the standard one. We have Pop, Marvel, the label Thor, half of Thor's Funko Head with the blue eyes and number 1117. Back side, it's pretty much simple. So we have Pop, number 1117, Thor's Funko Art, Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame, the Thor label, and some details below. And lastly, here's the bottom part. And now let's take Thor out of its packaging. And here's Thor out of the box. And of course, it's a bobblehead because it's a Marvel licensed Funko Pop. This is one of the best movie accurate Funko Pops. I believe there was an initial release of this Thor version, but I think it's on a slightly different pose and it doesn't have the glows in the dark feature and the lightning effect. So basically, this one is a superior one. The hair of this Funko Pop looks great. It really looks like Thor in the Avengers movie. But as you can see there are like slightly different paint colors on his hair but in person you can't really tell i'm not sure why it's like that on video but anyway don't worry the hair paint looks great now let's focus on the face the paint job here is really good the eyebrows and the eyes i love the blue paint that they use here for the glows in the dark and the beard looks great too on the right hand he's holding stormbreaker with like some lightning effects it really looks great and it glows in the dark I love the attention to detail that they give in here. And for the left side, he's holding Mjolnir. It also looks great. I love the lighting effect as well. Both weapons looks really good here. The Funko body and the pose, it looks great as well. I think this is the time when he was preparing or he just transformed into his new suit. It really looks good. The attention to detail here, like the circles on his armors, the linings, and all that stuff. And there are two black paints here, a glossy one and a matte one. So as you can see, and for the cape, I love the red that they used here. It really looks like as what's in the movie. I love that it's, it's also kind of like flowing as well. And if you're curious to see what's at the bottom of his feet, it's the usual production codes. The last part that we're going to check out is the glows in the dark feature. I believe it's both of his eyes and both of his weapons. So let's test it out. We're going to shine like a blue light first on the weapons and on his eyes. I'll make sure that it would glow bright. So let's settle the blue light in let it absorb and then there you go it really looks great i love the glow here it's really strong this funko pop is a must have on my rating it's 10 out of 10 a really good looking funko pop that's it everyone please don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment below let us know what you think do you prefer this one or the initial variant that's not glows in the dark thanks again peace